Not a bad view, right? But let's pull back a little. Some things we can only see from space. The remarkable images we get from satellites enable us to keep track of everything from pollution to cyclones. That makes them a critical tool for keeping Australians safe. But there's something that may surprise you about these eyes in the sky. None of those satellites are owned by Australia. If they break, if those countries or companies decide not to let us have access to them, we lose our weather forecasting capability, our ability to predict and respond to natural disasters like cyclones, floods and fires. Professor Stuart Finn knows a lot about satellites. He uses them to map and monitor the health of our waterways, such as creeks, rivers and lakes. The satellites are equipped with sensors that measure reflected sunlight. And the amount of reflected sunlight coming back to the satellites is controlled by what's in the water, so organic matter or sediments. Professor Finn is one of the main drivers of AquaWatch Australia. The joint project of CSIRO and the SmartSat CRC would see a network of satellites and ground sensors delivering data on water quality from right across the country. Vital information not just for agriculture and conservation, but for anyone who drinks from a tap. Space is now more accessible. We can have small and large private companies building and launching systems that can monitor the environment and the AquaWatch mission will be a way for us to build Australian capabilities to do that. AquaWatch is just one example of how Australia could benefit from strong investment in space science research and development. That's why the Australian Academy of Science has released a 10-year plan for space science, calling on the federal government to prioritise innovation while protecting our sovereign interests. Space science is one of the most rapidly growing, highly diverse areas that needs new people in it. People such as Imogen Ray, an Australian who moved to New Zealand last year to work for a commercial space firm. One of the most exciting things about space and space science to me, is the amazing technologies and applications that we can create to really improve life here on Earth. She was on the working group that helped write the Academy's decadal plan. One of the critical foundational elements of our plan is workforce development. It's highly diverse. It's everything from sort of designing and building instruments to designing and building satellites to using that information for looking at earth resource monitoring. It's a growth industry and you know, we need Australians to contribute to it. That takes focus and investment. But without it, Australia may well be left in the dark.